Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 5 after 3, 825, August 25th, Monday, 81.3 degrees. That one says 79. That says my batteries aren't fully charged. They really should be. It's gotten quite a bit of sun today. And right here, 26.3 centigrade. So, um, going through the routine of cleaning out the garage. And just to keep you guys aware that I'm still alive, I ran across some um, interesting artifacts. Some old Rio engines. And I'm to some extent dating myself, perhaps. But when I was a kid, and I grew up in this um, town, I guess they used to call it Monroe, New York back in the day. Now they call it South Blooming Grove. And there used to be this landfill off of Oxford Hill Road. And I loved going to this landfill when I was a kid. Because people all around the area used to bring stuff and drop it off. And he'd charge you a buck or two. And I used to always go to the metal pile. I loved going to the metal pile because there was stuff to find. And back then, there were quite a few of these engines floating around. Let me bring a light. Um, and that's the tag on them. I don't know if it's focusing. There you go. These are known as Rios. And typically, this one too. Oh, there you go. You can see it on the gas tank. Um, typically, I'd find these on old... Uh, real style lawnmowers and you can see this one has part of the clutch on it still from that there you go you can see part of the clutch assembly um, actually a lot of it's missing this one's got the carb metal gas tank though the gas lines broken off you can see right there um, Anyway, I went to turn them over. This one appears to be seized at the moment. This one appears to be okay. Um, and this looks like somebody might have sprayed oil in there, which is a good thing. So, when I was a kid, these things, I loved them. Loved to get them. But from a practical point of view, when it comes to an engine um, for what we were trying to do, put them on mini bikes and go-karts and all, they weren't very strong. Um, and they, uh, the shaft, the engine turns around this way and the shaft actually turns the opposite way because there's a two to one gear reduction in this little box here. This one also, they put a centrifugal clutch on it. Centrifugal clutch won't work on a Rio because it's two to one gear reduction, right? Which means you got the engine completely wound tight. You got 3600, that shaft is only turning 18. The clutch is barely engaging. So that's what they look like. That's what that one looks like. You can see the little arrow and which way to go. I showed you the tag. Right, this one appears to be in really nice shape. I got it at a flea market. I didn't save it from when I was a kid. But these were all over the place. And once again, I used to love, I used to love finding them, just so you guys could see it. Mostly you're seeing my hand, but. So, yeah, these, these were once again, these were considered like great you found one of these you had a good day at the junkyard the gas tank actually isn't too horrible um yeah and the cork gasket is shut gonna end up with that falling in but such is life um so that's one thing i i ran across which was cool another thing i ran across a box of chain don't mind my butterfingers here. And I got all kinds, 35 and all, 
which was a nice find. It was a nice find finding that cl centrifugal clutch on there, right? Um, so I'm happy about that. Also going through the boxes here. This is an 80cc um, engine for like an XR80. This is a 200 cc engine for a quad an ATC 200 it's got the recoil on it um, and the uh, electric starter which is that's a nice find too it's always cool finding it I moved that engine in from outside I moved that engine in from outside and I moved an oil burner in from outside I'm not sure which one it is um, so those were cool finds other things I used to really like to find when I was a kid. Um, this particular carburetor I used to always like to find. Um, and the reason being it was real easy to put a um, cable on here for the throttle. And this one's in nice shape. It's really clean on the inside. Right, see how clean that is? Yeah, there you go. Um, once again, these these were considered as a kid. If you found one of these, it was considered, you know, valuable. Um, then on the other hand, remember, I was a kid that there was no such thing as PlayStation or anything. So if you wanted something cool, you had to kind of put it together yourself. Um, one other thing that... Uh, would have made me very happy. This is a uh, tire. This guy came with a sprocket for a mini bike. And there's another one. I've poked myself in the face with this thing like 14 times so far. There's another one up here. I think you guys could see it, right? You see the sprocket right here. Right, you see my hand touching it. And it's just a loose sprocket. So mini bike parts are always cool to find. This must be stuff I put here when I first moved because it's about impossible to find this kind of stuff at flea markets anymore. The Rios, I never see them. And if I do, people want like a million dollars for them. They, they take no prisoners at all. They want a lot of money for them, especially if they run. By the way, this Rio doesn't really have the right engine or the right muffler on it. Typically the mufflers we used to put on them look like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, that square guy. And the motor was almost silent with that muffler on it. It was nice and quiet. So um, yeah, basically we own these engines, but we really didn't do much with them because um, it would run backwards. The shaft would turn in the right direction to the outside world. But unless you were willing to maintain the clutch that came, you know, this this mechanical clutch here, um, it, it, you know, the centrifugal clutches didn't work on them. So just uh, once again, I'm I'm happy that I'm running across these things. I figured I'd mention them. Um, what I'm doing is I got to clear off the shelves, clear out the shelves, and. Uh, that allows me to then clear the trailer off, right, of anything of any real value. And once I get the cl trailer cleared off, then I can put the quads on the trailer and relocate the quads. One thing I noticed as I was cleaning up the garage, I was saving a load of one-gallon jugs. So it was good to get rid of rid of all those. They were empty. They were just sitting around, like waiting for me to put crap in them. Yeah, I found a little mechanical press whilst that was falling around. Um, a gallon of Marriott gas, and I'm not quite sure what to do with that. I did find this Roundup stuff, which was a nice find. Um, and I think these. He's, that one's half full and that one's full so if I need to get rid of any any brush I got all that that killer here you know carburetors um, there was a gas tank here oh there it is I found a um, this is a gas tank for a 110 
you say a oh, big deal but the inside is really clean which makes it nice so it's been worthwhile going through this stuff mostly because I'm getting rid of bad news and by bad news I mean empty jugs who needs empty jugs uh, they're just taking up space um, you can see I consolidated there I also found I had a few containers like uh, Pennzoil containers but they had like a quart in them and like you find three of those so now I have a Pennzoil container for 530 that has three quarts in it instead of you know one quart and three it takes up a lot less space so I'm getting there and while I'm doing this I'm also noticing stuff like if you look on top um, underneath that rim that wire is red um, so I'm now I, I remember I have a spool of wire I also have this flashing over here um, there's a little bit more of that in this rack that I need to get out of here and move over so it's coming along I mentioned to you guys that I literally had to touch every piece in this garage to, to clear it up and it's taking a long time but it's it's getting there slowly but surely anyway folks I hope you uh, enjoyed the the um, videos on the old Rios um, There'll, there'll be a time where hopefully I, I still have enough time left, right? I'm not old, but um, hopefully where I get a chance to actually fire stuff like that and show it to you guys. Um, one of the things that slows it down, like working on the generator, if you already have two, three, four working generators and now you got an engine swap to do, which is a lot of work to get a fifth working generator, one doesn't waste the time on it. To get this engine running would be cool and it probably would be fairly easy, but after I get it running to what end, it's not like going to be bolted to anything in the near future. Um, it really isn't very good with mini bikes or go-karts or any of that kind of stuff. So firing it up is cool, but back to it to what end what what am I going to use it for once I fire it up it's cool to own I've always loved them since I've been a kid so I've loved them for you know over 40 years but back to the practical um, I could fire it up I could sell it I could do all kinds of interesting things in it I do like owning it because it is something that uh, was around when I was a kid Okay, folks, 12 minutes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. I know it's going to take me forever to clean this up, but I got to chip at it one little piece at a time. Um, thanks for everything. Remember to keep your feet down. Keep your head up. Enjoy every day of your life on this earth, and uh, we'll catch up with you all soon. Bye now.